And this is, I guess, proper or formal mathematics, but we just need to arrange our, our expressions in descending order. So we start with first the highest degree. So it may be good to separate these. I mean, some people like to separate them with slashes like this. Just don't get that mixed up with division if you do, all right? Um, all right, so we have chosen to leave it alone. Let's identify where our highest degree is. So we're just looking at powers or exponents of the variables. So we got an exponent of 3, 1, 4, 8, 0, and 5. So our highest degree here is this negative 2 times x to the power of 8. And I've used that one so I can cross it out just to keep track if I need to. The next highest degree would be this degree 5 right here. And that term is a negative 7x to the power of 5. we we'll use that one up. The next highest degree looks like it's the power of 4 right here. And that was a positive 5x to the power of 4 used. The next highest degree is 3 because that's our power of x. So that would be a negative 3 x cubed and we use that one next up looks like it's this negative x so minus x and finally um, uh, whatever I got I got this plus one so the leading term in this one is this negative 2 x to the power of 8 and the leading coefficient would be the coefficient of x to the power of 8, which is negative 2. Um, I suppose it didn't ask for it, but yeah, what would the degree of this polynomial be? So since we have this arranged from in descending order, our exponent for the leading term now is the degree so we can see that's eight right there so the degree of this one is eight 